This week on the show, we have Cristiano Magnoni, the founder of the innovative shoe line, Cremagno. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of putting yourself on a pedestal. The idea of putting yourself on a pedestal often comes with a negative connotation to it, when in fact it's necessary to build a healthy foundation for yourself. Putting yourself on a pedestal does not mean you are boastful or think you are better than anyone else. It means that you hold yourself in a high regard and essentially are your biggest cheerleader. It means that you are confident in what you bring to the table and have a healthy sense of ego where you don't feel the need to feel less than or better than anyone else. Rather, we feel equal. When you put yourself on a pedestal, you become the main character of your own story and take back your personal power. The reality is we have two options in life, to put everyone else on a pedestal or to rather fill our own cup instead by replacing idolization with self-love. Make your mission today to begin putting yourself on a pedestal and not being afraid to be confident in who you are. After all, there will only ever be one you on this planet. As Tom Anderson quotes, it's not selfish to put yourself first when you create your life. When you take time for yourself, you make everything around you better. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break. I want to talk about the Kobe. I know it won the Global Footwear Award for its creativity, sustainability, and social impact. So tell us about that milestone. Um, let's say, say that right from the start, we decided to pursue a strategy that is typical of the design world, which is entering our products in prices and competition. We consider it important because these awards certify the goodness and the quality of our work and represent a further objective guarantee for our customers. Wardrobe provided by Le Chateau. Next up on the show, we have Cristiano Bagnoni, the founder of the innovative shoe line, Cremagno. Cremagno is a fully sustainable, high-end, hybrid designer shoe that's gender neutral. Hi, my name is Cristiano and I'm the creator of Kobe by Cremagno. Kobe is an industrial design product conceived to be a bionic human extension of your feet. After two years of extensive lab tests, we have came up with a hybrid that is here to overturn the classic canon of footwear. It's been an amazing journey for us as we turn our ideas into reality. And now we are finally launching Kobe on Kickstarter. We apply the latest technologies and ergonomic studies to create the best working condition. We have created a shoe that adapts to every type of foot, giving it back more levels of freedom. By supporting Kobe, you are helping us bringing our life-changing project to you. Kobe is the most comfortable you are yet to wear. Thank you for believing in us. Cristiano, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm very well, very pleased to be here with you. Thank you for inviting me. Well, thank you for being here. And before we get into your innovative shoe line, let's talk about your passion for architecture. When did that uh, passion spark? Uh, well, I've always, I've always been fascinated by, by forms. I've always been as if they were talking to me in, uh, in some way. I remember my father having a very particular watch. I must have been eight years old, if at all. And yet I was enchanted watching it every time he wore it. And this watch has turned out to be a turning point for my life because many years later, while at university studying industrial design, flicking through a magazine, I find the image of that watch and the name of its creator, who by fate happened to be a very important designer living not for, so far from me. And it is with him that I started to work and to love architecture. Mm, I like that. I like that you said that the forms were kind of speaking to you. That's that. So that just shows you you are very creative. And I know that creativity also runs in your family heritage. So let's talk about that. Yes, actually, shoes formed a part of our family's business heritage, which I work in uh, during university. 
being one of the most established manufacturer at that time, it supplied soles to the most famous shoe brand. And I used to design the sole collection and for some client even the whole shoe. Then the fair exhibition spaces and the company advertising material, website. So I started that way in, uh, in my father company. And for our viewers that want to know more about Cremagno, tell us about it and what it is. Well, I think that the background we approach the product and its processes is what makes it different from others. I've developed my expertise in the field of industrial design and this allows me to conceive footwear as a bionic extension of the feet rather than as a fashion accessory. Our materials are researched and searched from completely different sectors as automotive, interior design, architecture. For example, uh, borrowing the technology from the coaches that have a wooden frame, we have replaced the typical metal shank of the shoes with one made of recycled wood. And that's why we believe that our different point of view will lead us to new solution and calls to the conception of food. Very nice. And for our viewers that aren't familiar with Cremagno, tell us about it and what exactly it is. Well, um, talking about Cremagno, we have to mention the three main pillars that we have followed uh, during the process. And those are sustainability, ergonomy and design. So, sustainability, why? Because we only use smart, sustainable and innovative materials. Our uppers are made with biopolymers deriving from corn or apple food chain processing waste. For the soles, we use natural rubber, which is the noblest material that can be used for the bottom of a shoe. In addition, we load some compound with hemp wood, which is a waste of the linen production process. I have here a sample, if you can see. Mm -hmm. So what you see inside is exactly the hemp wood that belongs to the process of production of the linen that we use uh, in our shoes. And the insole is even biodegradable because mm -hmm. it's made with coconut fiber. And let me show you this as well. So as you see, the insole belongs to coconut fiber and uh, you know, there's no glue. There's only aloe that, uh, that is used to, to let all the fibers stuck together. And uh, the foam that you can see here is made with natural lattice and this gives a better comfort to the insole. Wow, I love that. Yes, it's very, it's very cool and you know, it, it took so much research to look for all this natural material, but was at the same time a very good journey. The most important things for us is that we, ter we take care of the whole shoe life cycle, having considered the correct the recycling of used shoes. We are developing a commercial incentive with which we will encourage customers to return us their old Cremagno with credit towards their next purchase. This way we can take care of the correct disassembling and upcycling of individual parts. For example, soles will be used to build the athletic race tracks and the upper shoe, upper shoe for insulating and sound absorbing panels for construction. Furthermore, we have invented also the package of the shoe, replacing the classic car box with a comfortable shoulder strap that happens to be here behind me, which is made with 100% recycled felt and the customer can reuse it in a thousand other ways. And these reflect our solid commitment to embrace eco-sustainability in every aspect of the, of the company. Very nice. And one thing that really sticks out about the shoe is the, the shape and the form. How did you come up with that? Uh, well, that, that is a, a, a very long story, but uh, to, to, to make it shorter, let's say that um, I use it the same principle that I use in architecture, which is starting from inside from how we inhabit spaces. In this case, instead, we started from ergonomic and orthopedic studies. We analyze how we walk, which are the different foot shapes, and we model a shape around them that could accommodate all of their ergonomic needs. So we were looking for a unique design, a, a sort of hybrid that could 
could overturn the classic canon of footwear, a shape that could stand the test of time, not subject to the seasonal fashion, fashion trends. Because, and this is very important to say, longevity today is one of the highest parameters of modernity, which is why we focus on making high quality proto products made to last. Mm -hmm. I like it. I, I like that they're natural, that they're they're comfortable and they're also very stylish. So I think you've you've really created a product that is amazing. And I want to talk about the different shoes in the line. I know the Kobe is one of them. Talk to us about the different shoes in the in the line. Uh, well, let's say that um, at the moment Kobe is our first model. Of course, we have designed a few more and uh, we intend to launch a new one by the end of the year. But at the moment, this is the, uh, the model that, that we have in our line and it comes in many different colors and uh, in uh, many different combinations of colors. You can, you can pick the color of the upper, the you can pick the color of the soles. You can even pick the colors of the decorative robes. Uh, at the moment, I, I take this opportunity to say that uh, at the moment we launch our first model, Kobe, as you correctly said, uh, on Kickstarter, where we have a running live campaign right now. And uh, on Kickstarter, they are available in black and white, but you can pick three different colors for the soles and the decorative robes. Soon, by the way, a new color, the space blue, that we exceptionally will show to your public will be released. And so please back now so we can unlock this incredible new color. Yeah, I love the colors. How did you pick the color scheme for the shoes? Ah, well, you know, we, um, uh, we make uh, so many um, research, we take care of what is happening on the market, at, at the same time we try to find the right combination of colors that can also match the material that we are using, for example, and also this is a new thing, uh, we are testing some upper that belongs to the production of um, uh, mandarin, and oranges and uh, this kind of fruits. And so we would like to introduce orange for this type of upper so that the color is there to, um, to give reason of the origin of the material. Oh, very nice. I like that they're classic colors too. You picked colors that everyone will like. So I, I love that. <laughs> and I want to talk about the Kobe. I know it won the Global Footwear Award for its creativity, sustainability and social impact. So tell us about that milestone. Um, let's say, say that right from the start, we decided to pursue a strategy that is typical of the design world, which is entering our products in prices and competition. We consider it important because these awards certify the goodness and the quality of our work and represent a further objective guarantee for our customers. And Cristiano, I want to talk about the carbon offset program. I know that you talked a little bit about it earlier, but how important is it for you as a brand to reduce your carbon footprint? Well, making a positive difference for the planet is one of the main values on which we have founded our company. We believe that each and every one of us must make an effort to disclose. Our supply chain is controlled and certified and is all and made in Italy. 80% of our suppliers are located within 20 kilometers from our company. Therefore, we have made it our commitment to help absorbing the CO2 emissions by planting trees for each pair of shoes sold. Most important, as previously mentioned, we apply a circular business model by encouraging customers to return their old Cremania shoes to us with credit towards their next purchase. So, this way, our shoes will not end up in landfills in landfills as it happens to unfortunately to two billions of pairs every year in the world imagine yeah i think that's great because i can uh, relate to that i mean i have so many shoes and when i'm done with them i throw them out so i like that you know you can recycle them you can send them back 
and uh, I like the program. I think it's, it's very good. And Cristiano, let's talk about, you know, being an entrepreneur is not easy. It comes with its fair share of challenges. So what are some challenges that you face when creating this brand and what motivated you through these uh, challenges? Our biggest challenge is to make the market understand that the real value of our shoes, how much research and how much study they hide. For an unknown startup like us, the challenge to overcome is precisely this one. To transmit the real value of the product, to have the possibility of informing customers that they are making a sustainable, ethical and quality purchase is not a much, is not about how much they cost, is how much better they meet your needs and the planet's one how much better they are made and how much care is taken in every detail, including their disposal. Mm -hmm. And you know, with any entrepreneurial journey, it takes a level of risk, right? To, to go after your dreams and put kind of, you know, you don't have to be realistic. It's more like, I'm going to go after this no matter what. So what are some risks that you took when following your passion? Um, the, the risk is that uh, uh, you, you know uh, is is what I've mentioned that you are not able to let the market understand how much research and value there is behind your product being an unknown startup. So what is important is to be able to make your values known and make the market understand that uh, we are ethical, we take care of the product uh, and is totally handmade and there's a lot of quality and research behind uh, uh, every details to make you an example like we, it took more than two years for us to develop it because you know these shoes is a real laboratory and uh, all the materials that we have used were not all um, already used in the market. And so we tested before to, to, to put them in production. And so it was um, a challenge for the production as well. Like, for example, usually the glue that is used in production is not uh, based on water. Instead, for us, was a mission to use only sustainable material. So even a sustainable glue. And, you know, it took a lot of time to uh, create the right proportion uh, using these new material, these new glues, and to find the right one that could at the same time give the right guarantee to the product and uh, respect the, the environment. And talk to us a little bit about the comfort of the shoe. I know there's a lot of research behind it. So many research, you are right. We apply the latest technologies and the ergonomic studies to create the best working conditions. We realize shoes that adapt to every type of foot, giving it back more levels of freedom. For instance, in our first model, Kobe, we split the sole into two parts to make the walking experience as similar as possible to that of bare feet, adding degrees of freedom to both the foot torsion and the bending. We tested all sorts of yarns and we went to moon with an, our own elaboration fabric based on hemp to guarantee breathability, thermoregulation and antibacterial properties to our linen, which is not glued but only sewn to the upper. We believe that the comfort of our shoes will be a main viral driver of their diffusion. And for our viewers that want to buy a pair of shoes, where can they do so? I know that you do custom shoes as well. Uh, yep, yep. So thank you for asking. So I have the opportunity again to say one more time that we are now live on Kickstarter. And so you can go at kickstarter.com and your audience can buy there a new pair of Crimagno at a special price, making the experience of wearing shoes like no other and helping us to grow our company and of course if they want they can also follow us on our on our social media we have a website which is uh, uh, crimagno.com and we have also an instagram which is crimagno underscore earth 
Very nice. We're going to link all of the information below so our viewers can see. But Cristiano, right. thank you so much for being on the show today. Congratulations on creating uh, such a nice product and I wish you much success. Thank you so much. It's been my pleasure and thank you for uh, having hosting me. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us on YouTube and Facebook.